Hello everyone, so this video I want to talk to you about using the effect face mask. So there's a it's a on and off function that you can apply across your brushes. So let's say now I'm on number one brush and I on back face mask, you allow me to uh just uh take care of the other side of the the brush stroke when I'm doing uh using this back face clay view up brush so what am i talking about okay so first uh, let's create something that's uh, very thin first okay so maybe i can use the uh, curve tri view brush okay and then i create something like this okay so curve tri view uh, you can use it it's pretty fun maybe you can create uh, mickey mouse ears like this oh, so but i can also change the brush size and then just make it something thin like this okay so for example uh this uh very simple example, I'll create something like this. So Spring Armas Points deleted this, so I'll have uh, this as a separate file. Okay, separate sub tool. So we have something that is very thin. Now back to the main topic that I was going to talk to you about. So we have um back face mask off by default. Okay. So what you normally do is uh, if you use a clay view up brush, then uh, you think that oh I'm adding to this surface okay this is the design one I'm adding textures but uh, you didn't consider the other side so what happens to the other side is that everything is going to get pushed in like this so technically not wrong oh, uh, this uh, could be the effect that you want but you need to understand that this will cause a problem uh, with uh, Dynamesh and with uh, ZBrush in general so every time we have uh, something that's very thin and we try to Dynamesh you create problems like this you can also um, Make your software crash you know if you do it um, if you worsen this kind of stuff and it creates a very weird holes like this so dynamesh then definitely doesn't like very thin areas like this it doesn't know how to compute so we we would generally do something that is a bit thicker so in this case what should i do um so i just re revert back to this what should i do is i on my back face mask so it just to toggle it on with my number one brush and now I want you to see the difference. So I'll just um, do some brush strokes here. And it's not going to affect the other side. See, see how smart this is? So uh, you're not affect the other side. So you need to understand by, by default, um, ZBrush will push the layers out on both directions. So there's the inner layer of the, this thickness and then there's the other layer that's behind it. So a lot of times we are we have two layers and uh, we always do our objects with a little bit of thickness at, uh, and sometimes we do wings, feathers, uh, cloth, things like that that is very thin so we need to be really careful and start taking care of these parts already. Okay so remember to turn on your back face mask uh, when you're dealing with cloth and uh, you need to understand that uh, there are times where you want to on a back face mask on purpose so that it doesn't affect the other way oh, so the other side will remain the same while you use a back face mask and then you push things out okay so now i'll show you maybe uh, more examples of um when you use this so i'll delete this so for example for the ears of a person you know like uh, you need kind of need back face mask as well because uh, if you were to just uh, let's say you want to push out this area you know, and then I don't affect face mask now, and then I didn't realize, oh, I affected the other side again. So while I'm doing this side, I actually affected the other side. So if I were to dynamesh this, then problem. So everything that is very thin, you need to be careful about this. So let me change to the, maybe another part. Let's say you're dealing with a cloth. Okay, you have a cloth, same thing. Uh, you may be just uh, adding some folds on this side, but uh, if you do it enough, you affect the other side very strongly. So if you once again, if you dynamite this damn problem. So once again, if you bother to on your uh, back face mask and you be a little bit more careful, uh, it will give you better results. And then uh, you'll be able to just deal with things on one side because you know that this is thin and you don't want to affect the other side. So when you are dealing with thin stuff on your back face mask. All right, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.